I want to go back to David Curley on the scene now in Alexandria with more from the scene. George, as you uh, told us all earlier, the two senators who were, including Senator Flake, who we just heard from, uh, could see this shooter or knew the shooter was coming and shooting from the dugout on the third base side. Well, there were others who could actually see that as well. And the park, which is down here to the left of where these uh, police cars are. There is a YMCA right next door and Owen Britton, who's a defense contractor and lives in this neighborhood and was in for his morning workout at 7.05. He's walking out and somebody says there is a shooter out there and he explained to us what he saw and how he felt when he saw that shooter. I was leaving. It was maybe five after, ten after, seven. I was on my way out of the gym. And as I got to the door, someone told me not to go outside. There was a man with a gun. I looked out the front doors, and there was a man with a gun. He was crouched behind a wooden structure. He was carrying what looked like a Kalashnikov-type uh, assault rifle, a curved magazine, and uh, exchanging fire with police officers. Uh, what I now know are police officers who are crouched behind a black SUV. You walk out, you have an indication that there may be a shooter. You see the shooter, you see a gun battle. What do you do? What are you thinking? Um, get away from the windows is what I was thinking. And, and that's what I told everyone who was in the lobby area of the gym. Uh, tried to get them to not stand next to the windows, not stand next to the front doors. That turned out to be a good idea. A few moments later during the exchange, two bullets hit the front of the gym. One came through a set of windows and the other lodged in the windows. So this touched where you were? Yeah, it was rather personal. What do you make of all this? I mean, here are members of Congress. You learn now what actually happened there sure. at the scene. As an American who has been touched by this, what do you make of it? Well, I think it it speaks a deep message about the, the depth of the division in our nation right now between the political extremes. Uh, obviously, we don't know this person or what their motivations were. Apparently they were asking who was performing, uh, performing, playing on the field, got an answer and then um, launched into action. So we got to assume a political motivation and it's deeply troubling. I think it, we should all come together as a nation. Did, um, were you scared? You know, at the time, no, but not particularly. Uh, I entered a sort of pragmatic frame of mind. Um, I suppose that's a manifestation of fear of sorts, but I wouldn't describe myself as being afraid at the time. And now you're getting ready to walk away from this scene. What are your thoughts? Now I'm afraid. <laughs> um, it, it, it's unsettling to have violence touch so close to one's daily routine. Uh, this is something I do every other day, so um, it's, it's concerning. You know, it's uh, something I've heard from a couple of witnesses here. They're really disturbed by the fact of a shooting like this, uh, highlighting what they say are the divisions within the country. George, as you mentioned, there's been one report of one member of Congress saying the shooter asked were these Republicans or Democrats. Uh, I've had a couple of witnesses tell me here on the scene that uh, they see this as a symptom of what's happening in their country, and um, they're very saddened by it, George. Sad and shocked we're hearing in the voices this morning.